And what's going on, ladies and gentlemen? This is Demo Storm, and we're back with Ark today. And look at what we have. Yes, in the update, they added this thing. Yep. I cannot pronounce it right, so I'm going to call it the Dimetron. Yep, Dimetron. Uh, Dimetron, or Time Dimetrodon. Whatever. Uh, basically, this is single player, by the way, guys. I force tame this and everything, so I should be able to. Oh, you can't ride it. Even if you force tame it. I know you're not supposed to be able to ride it in the game. So they also added the dung beetle. But they accidentally added the Therizinosaurus. Which is weird. Because that's the danger floof from the isle. That is a bird with long claws. But anyways we're just going to look at this guy today. So what he specializes in. Is actually this sail on his back. He's able to keep you warm or cold. He's like a mobile AC. Uh, let's look at some stats. He's a 300, so don't look at this. But we're seeing that it mostly specializes in health and looks like food. But uh, he's able to keep in his heat, so we'll be able to warm you in the cold. And also be able to keep the heat off you due to the sail on its back. I was able, I was trying to spawn in the dung beetle, but I was unable to. We'll try it. Some of the codes I got were self-made, if that makes sense. I had to figure it out myself what they would have named it in their character list. Nope. No dung beetle. Uh, we can try. No, it's not looking good, guys. Uh, when we look around, I'll try and get it out for you guys soon. But having these guys around is more of that... Yeah, see, I was trying to spawn the Therizinosaurus, but did not work. Let's see if I actually can get this spawn back up. Hmm. I'm trying to show you guys the code to actually spawn one. Oh, there we go. We'll spawn in a bunch of them. But they're able to keep you in good temperature when all else fails. I... Uh, Trying to see if there's a symbol for heating or cold. But our temperature right now is 26 degrees Celsius. I want to test it real quick. So let's run up north and check this out. You're supposed to be able to find these guys in the swamp. So we'll go take a quick look. Uh, the dung beetle is supposed to be spawning towards cave sides. So we'll go check out a cave real quick. And see if we can show you guys the new dinosaurs. I am in god mode so we don't have to deal with death. And all that other fun stuff in this game. And we are on the main map. Because so, there's no caves on the Valhalla map yet. That have those dinosaurs. So let's see if we can find a Dime, dime, Tron, dime Trodon. Oh my god. They're, you guys are going to kill me for that. But honestly. That's. that's. Let me hit a lag block. Because I move so fast. I can just walk everywhere. So. In your single player world, if you want, go back and that will allow you to spawn it in so you can check them out. They're supposed to be swamp people. They, they're supposed to prefer swamps, but they can live in any condition. That's its special... special <laughs> wow. Sorry guys, it's like 3 a.m. Speciality. Uh, it specializes in keeping those temperatures, you know, the way they are. So we'll see if we can show you guys the dung beetle. We can get a dime trodon and a dung beetle next to each other. Hello, frog. Don't mind us. We're just going to run by. Look at us go. But yeah, I, I like with the way they're going. Tribe alliances are still not out. Uh, but we're slowly moving our way into a more new dinosaur era. I believe they're trying to release a dinosaur every week or every other week. So hopefully we'll be seeing new dinosaurs all the time. Sorry for the timer, guys. That's just for server maintenance. I have to... I told everyone and they have a 20 minute warning so they can get their stuff together so it doesn't roll back. I try taking care of our server as much as possible when my brother cannot. And it's kind of like a side project that I usually do in my free time. I take care of the server. But it's also helped by Uhost Pro who runs the server and sponsors my brother. But I like to get, you know, people happy that I can get an update out quickly. Uh, the server can do it on its own, but it ha it's all timers. So hopefully I can help them out whenever I can. Alright, we're going to slowly run up this coast. 
Alright, we want to be right here. Good, good. Alright. So let's go check out the cave. We are going to get a lag block as soon as we run inside the cave. Because that's how these caves work. I have not been in one in a long time. So, yeah. Oh, it's a lot better than it used to be. I get the most frames out of anywhere else in this game in these caves. Let's see if we can find anything fun. Alrighty. Anybody in here? No? Cave doesn't spawn yet? Or am I going to get knocked back 20 feet? It looked like in their patch notes they made a mistake because it looked like it spawned the Therizinosaurus instead of the beetle. So I'm not sure if the beetles broke the caves is what it's looking like. Or I'm just, you know, running too fast for it to all spawn in. With speeds like mine, you can take those jumps. But this is a good time to test this guy out for us. We're bringing this guy. And look at that, he actually took the temperature down. Not even being forced tamed, so cheap forest team. He's now ours. So he actually takes the temperature down quite a bit. We'll jump away from him. Jump back close to him. And look at that. Temperature is beautiful. Alright, we're thirsty as hell. Uh, the thing about god mode is that will not protect me from thirst. So we gotta go back the way we came. I've become really skilled at these jumps. As I say that, I'm probably going to fail. Nope. Look at that. Oh, shit. Well. I know I'm cheating a lot, guys, but honestly, it's just to show you guys those new dinosaurs, but it doesn't look like our dung beetle's in yet. So we will report back at some point about our Mr. Dung Beetle. That's actually the most excited I am about any dinosaur because I am the farmer on our server. And it's, it builds oil and fertilizer inside its body using poop. Yep, when your dinosaur poops, it gets excited. That's just how they work. Doesn't look like the caves are even spawning. That might not be good for official service because that could become... Uh, you can farm resources inside of these caves. I wonder if it's because I'm running too fast. We'll go back to a regular gamma, so the game doesn't look like poop. And back to the water we go. I'm going to try and walk into this cave and see if they will spawn anything. But I believe the dung beetle was actually a mistake in the patch notes. They actually did a different dinosaur, but it's not actually out yet. So, yeah, as I've said before. But Dime to Drawn reminds me of a tiny spino. Really tiny spino. Yeah, I don't think this caves are spawning. Nothing in the cave? Nope. I guess not. Bring them in. Temperature change. Look at that. You don't even have to have them tamed. But they can live in any temperature. They are a meat eater. So expect to give them the prime, you know, anything to do with the prime meat. Um... Right now for kibble, I'm thinking, what was the most recent dinosaur they released? Because it probably eats that kibble. That's usually how they work. I believe the dung beetles will be tamed by hand. You'll be handing them poop, and that's how you tame them. So yeah. Let's get a little beach party going on with our best friends over here. Look at this. <laughs> and yeah, guys. This is just a quick informational video about the dime And I will see everybody later. Good night.